Hey guys, uh, yesterday we talked about Henry Fielding's work, Joseph Andrew, and uh, we are talking about the relation between the Joseph Andrew and the work written by Richardson Spamela. Hello friends, you are most welcome on my YouTube channel and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click on subscribe here. दोस्तों अगर आप मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करते हैं तो आपको आने वाली वीडियोस का लिंक आसानी से मिलता रहेगा आशा करता हूं कि चैनल आपकी तैयारी में हेल्पफुल होगा गुड लक फ्रेंड्स नाउ एंजॉय द वीडियो दे हैव यू नो कनेक्शन इन बिटवीन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट देम इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ रिचर्डसन दिस इज यू नो मोस्ट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टू नो अबाउट दिस वर्क इट इज आस्ट So Pamela was published in seventeen fourteen and was one of the greatest popular phenomena of British literary history of that point of time. It is the story of teenage seven uh servant girl Pamela Andrew, as we know, and uh, Pamela Andrews is considered and uh, she is sister of Joseph Andrew, as uh, Henry Fielding, <clears throat> you know, described the relationship. She withstands an unwanted attention of her master, Mister uh Mister B. and there we have uh, mrs booby do you remember uh, if you have not watched that video you can uh, search whatever if you want to search any video by koshik okay you will find my like a history of english literature by koshik uh, you can search a formalism by koshik or you can say uh, romanticism by koshik so you will find uh, english literature videos by koshik or mcq videos by koshik you will find uh, you will get my all videos if you put after the video by koshik so uh, she was seduced by mr b and uh, he was seduced by mr booby mrs booby uh, near the midpoint of the novel mr b recognizes her moral worth reforms himself and marries her lately the the second half of the story presents pamela's uh, triumphant acclamation to her new exalted condition her conquering to the snobbish upper class by the sinew force of her goodness now let's talk about form and structure of pamela and its influence on fielding so joseph andrew as i told this is one of the most you know important point to understand about this work Joseph Andrew the entire novel comprises a series of letters and uh, we call them epistolary novel as we know and uh, journal entries a few of which near the beginning are written by other characters but the vast majority of which are work by him pamela himself the epistolary format is epistle here the word comes epistle epistle means letter and uh, the novel is uh, the story of novel is grown with letter so we call this epistolary format okay uh, epistolary novel hote hain jo related hote hain these are uh, are related to related to letters so let's see what is written here a few of which near the beginning are written by other characters but the vast majority of which are the works of pamela herself this epistolary format is part of the richardson revolutionary contribution to the development of the novel in english for the first person narration of event in nearly real time allow, allows the novelist to explore quite naturalistically the depth and nuances of pamela's psyche so here are some characters as uh, we have already talked about these these are major characters <clears throat> i have already talked about in uh, these characters yesterday but let's have a look again joseph andrews he is a handsome uh, young fellow who tries to safeguard his honor through out the novel uh, gaffa or uh, gamma andrews parent of famila and it is believed of joseph mr booby the ne nephew of uh, sir thomas booby 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 Sir Thomas Booby is deceased husband of Lady Booby. Lady Booby, a hot-blooded young widow, who try tries every way possible to seduce Joseph, Mrs. Uh, Slipslop, and Slipslop. Remember this name because it it was asked in one of KVS exam. A repulsive servant woman who also pursue Joseph. Peter Pounds, the steward of Lady Booby, and Mr. Abraham Adams, a charitable curate. 
Frances, Fanny Goodwill, a beautiful young country girl, the Wilson, the real parent of Joseph Andrew, Lady Tittle and Lady Tattle, to gossip and plain Tim, a good-hearted host. Let's have a look on minor characters because in exams, minor characters are asked. Postillion, a generous person who offers Joseph an overcoat to cover his nakedness. Mr. Towers, a bumbling, good-natured innkeeper. Mr. Towers, Betty, Banabas, Banabas, a punch-drinking clergyman. Okay, this is also asked in exams. Banabas, <clears throat> Tom McBride, Leonora, Horoshio, Ballermine, uh, Linda Maya, Myra, and Mrs. Uh, Grave Ayers. Parson Truly Burr, the Paddler, Lawyer Scout, and Mrs. Adams, Parson Adams, disagreeable wife. Now, let's talk about, uh, in short, about the major themes. Major theme is duality of uh, goodness. It's a very good PPT for uh, these. Uh, next theme is charity and religion. Third theme is rule of providence. And the next is town and country as I told you yesterday in yesterday's videos about these all themes <clears throat> major themes affection vanity and uh, hypocrisy chastity this is the most important one chastity this theme is uh, important one so let's talk about fielding has a fundamentally positive attitude towards chastity to him people's sexual Conduct be in accordance with what they owe to God, each other, and themselves. In the mutual attraction of Joseph and Fanny, there is nothing licentious or uh, exploitative, and they demonstrate the virtuousness of their love and their eagerness to undertake a lifetime commitment. So, if there is mutual attraction, and so there is nothing like licentious and exploitative. According to Henry Fielding, social class difference. He talks about social class difference, and this is as um, as I whenever I take a video, I try to give you the major themes and minor themes and characters and the sh summary of the work, uh, so that it will help you when you are going to read the work. Okay, so don't rely on uh, only videos just go through the work uh, itself too now here uh, why and what are the reasons fielding has written a preface there he he wanted to introduce his work he wanted to explain what it is about to define the type and the genre and to justify his work so there are his major themes and uh, his reason to write down preface here is the we, we can say the the theme which is of most important importance that is chastity and you should know about this and go through the work and uh, you're gonna enjoy that work there definitely this is uh, let's talk about uh, another one which is important there town and country okay fielding did not choose the direction and destination of his hero's travels at random joseph moves from the country to the town and then from the town to country in order to illustrate in the words of uh, martin c bastian bastian a moral pilgrimage from the vanity and corruption of the great city to the relative natural naturalness and simplicity of the country joseph develops morally by leaving the country site of vanity so as you see the the theme is also vanity and superficial pleasures so superficial pleasures you can relate this uh, theme to uh, mrs booby for the countryside for virtuous retirement and contented domesticity Fielding did not have any utopian illusion about the countryside as we can see through the presentation of bad characters in countryside setting too. 
He claimed for rural life derives from the pragmatic judgment that, away from the bustle, crime, and financial pressure of the city, there are more chances of the development of goodness. So, according to Henry Fielding, if we see that goodness can be developed more, according to him, it is developed in uh, villages, okay, countryside. So, uh, and this is uh, true where, uh, according to him, uh, rural life is, uh, you know, more pure than uh, city life. So, that's why he's talking about this. And charity and religion. This is also one of uh, important theme. Fielding's novels are full of clergymen. As we say, uh, Mr. Abraham in, in this story, we find them in Joseph Andrews as well. Many of them are less than exemplary in the contrast between the benevolent Adams and his mere self-interested brethren. Fielding uh, draws the distinction between the mere formal profession of Christian doctrine and that active charity which is considered true Christianity. So here is the story. Here are the uh, characters, major characters, minor characters and the major themes of the work. So with this we are going to finish this work and hopefully we will analyze this work in another videos too in uh, near future but if we talk about TGT and PGT level or uh, somewhat UGC net also we have covered this work so bye bye take care don't forget to visit my blog kojistudy.blogspot.com and you can send me whatsapp message what you can see on my you know screen here so you can do you can be connected with me Bye-bye, take care and don't forget to share and like and comment.